तव नाम किम इज वॉट इज योर नेम नाउ ईच वन ऑफ यू कैन स्टार्ट टेलिंग मी योर नेम क्विकली विथ यूजिंग दिस फॉर्म मम नाम सो एन सो टैश 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 लेट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम यू लेट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम यू यस यूज द होल सेंटेंस विद योर नेम तव नाम किम Mama nam Alina. Next one. Mama nam Alina. Mama nam Alina. Mama nam Sanya. Mama nam Alina. Yes, please, please, please. Mama nam Alina. Mama nam Alina. I have already asked you. Mama nam Alina. Mama nam Alina. Mama nam Alina. Last uh, row. Next one. Next one. Okay. So everybody is clear? Yeah. Simple question, simple way to answer. Tav naam Kim, Mama naam Manoj. Okay? All right. Now I think before we complicate our life any further we quickly move on to adding two consonants Ajit Nandan Prabhupada Shri Ji ka ka add consonants ka sabhaya dwa so Let's start with ka Ashwamsko. What happens if K is added to another K? Что будет, когда мы добавим К другому другому К? You see, the first k is left at half line, and it is added with another k. Когда соединяем два к, первая к остается половинка и добавляется другой к. Okay. K halant plus k is k k k. The practical word. Let's use a practical word. It's called wheel. Wheel is called chak. Okay, I'll use Hindi word just for the sake of example. It's called chakka. Chakka. So chakka will be written as ch. K. K. A chakka. It is not a Sanskrit word. It is a Hindi word. But I am only showing you the example of k halant plus k chakka. What does it mean? Wheel. Kalisso. Chakka слово означает колесо, и это слово из Hindi. Я вам написал, чтобы поняли, как надо писать. लेटर Uh, which can be useful but no uh this the, let's let's go by the concept because it will take a long time for us to go one by one whenever you have kahalan and you have to add another letter this is the way we change the first k okay 
This is as a principle. Когда у вас есть Кагалан, и мы добавляем ему в другой букве, то так мы его пишем так и дописывает задний хвост. And when we have K, и когда у нас есть К, when we have K, Халан, and we have to add any letter to K, this long line disappears. This is what remains of K, and then you add K to this. Когда мы добавляем к Голланд к, тогда мы не пишем вертикальную палочку в конце в к и добавляем к. Получается к. And you can change this to any letter. Мы можем поменять к любой другой букве. This will remain, and the new letter will come here. И тогда мы также само будем писать к не дописывая и другая буква будет соединяться. Is that fine? Всем ясно. Should I move ahead? When you have go, когда у нас есть go, hala plus go. Then, once again, you just remove this line of G. The line goes. Когда у нас есть G Holland и K, то мы просто не пишем вертикальную палку в G. Мы пишем половинкой. So, in general, this is the principle. Whenever a letter ends in a line, that line is removed, and the next letter joins in. Такое я справила, что если какая-то буква заканчивается вертикальной палкой, то мы убираем ту вертикальную палку и добавляем вторую букву. There is obviously exceptions. И также есть некоторые буквы, которые не подходят. The exception is only when the next letter is R. R is a very troublesome creature. И это правило не подходит к R. How do we write G? Как мы пишем G? When we have to write gr, then this rule which I have just told you does not work, and this r comes as this. И когда мы пишем с r, это правило не не подходит сюда, и мы пишем r внизу. Similarly. I hope I'm not going going too fast. As long as you all are able to follow me, I'm fine. You are fine. Ga ra. We are here now. We are dealing with the exception to the common rule. The common rule I told you. Whenever any line ends, I'm oh, sorry, any consonant ends in a line, that line is taken out, and the next consonant comes in front. Так же, как я вам рассказала про это правило, что если любая буква заканчивается вертикальной палкой, то мы убираем эту пал, э, вертикальную палочку, но в «р» это не подходит. Right now we are dealing with the exception when the second consonant is «р». И сейчас мы будем учить, как писать буквы, если у нас последняя, вторая буква «р». So, let's begin with «к». When «к» Is added to R. What we get is Kr, and Kr is written This is no, this is not Halan. Halan is all. Ha, this is Kahalan. Sorry, Kahalan plus R is Kr. Также, когда мы пишем Kahalan plus R. Но не пишется половинка, а полный и добавляем внизу ра. 
exception. We are talking of exception. Okay? Здесь правило, кроме правила не подходит. Now, I am ready to write his name. His name was Gregory. Gregory. So when we write Gregory, then this exception comes into picture. И сейчас мы будем писать имя Григорий, в которое это правило не подходит, и звуком Р я вам покажу, как это правило писать. Let's see. Грей. Г. Р. Грей. Го. Ри. Грегори. This is the full name. Грегори. Грегори. И так пишется имя Григори. In the end of the last class, somebody had asked me, can we add two vowels at one time to a consonant? В прошлом классе мне кто-то спросил, что могли мы, можем ли мы добавить два несогласных согласных. Is that person here? Если это человек здесь. Someone had asked me, can we add two vowels together? Means, are there uh, conjoined vowels in Sanskrit? В прошлом классе мне кто-то спросил, что можем ли мы добавить два звука к одному. What he meant? Suppose if we have one letter G, can we add two vowels to G at the same time? A E A I. Can we add two vowels in a same consonant? The answer is there is no word in Sanskrit in which one consonant is Attached with two vowels at the same time. В санскрите нет такого правила, что буква в словах буква соединялась с двумя звуками. Yes, we can add three consonants also. Да, мы можем добавить три согласных. You will come across many such examples. I, I will, I will certainly tell you um, whenever this comes. Okay, so this is a general introduction to adding two consonants. I am now coming back to learning some useful common things in Sanskrit. И сейчас я снова буду вас учить, как, uh, как использовать правильные правила в санскрите. Just the way in Ukrainian this is здравствуйте. Sanskrit word is namaste. How do we write namaste? Namaste. 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 I told you, once you know the basics, whatever you pronounce, you can write. Namaste in Sanskrit means здравствуйте. Так как я вам говорил, что чтобы вы не могли сказать, вы можете это написать на санскрите. The way you pronounce, think of the words, think of the conjugation, and you can write. Так же, как вы говорите про Слово, как вы его произносите, так же само напишется. На ма сте и на ма сте. And you can see the sound сте. The sir is not fully pronounced. На ма сте. And this is exactly the way we will write. Как вы слышите, что звук с полностью не произносится, из этого мы пишем половину, и оно идет на мастей. 
Namaste. The meaning was Rastriche. I am not writing. This is hello or uh, whatever you call it in English. Namaste is the normal greeting. Okay. Should I remove it now? I'll go to next word, which is welcome. When we say welcome, what is the Ukrainian word? Добро пожаловать. Добро? Пожаловать. Пожаловать. Okay? In Sanskrit, we call Swagatam. Swagatam. How do we write Swagatam? Добро пожаловать. В Sanskrit, we write Swagatam. Swa. So, sa is half. Dan sa is half. Половина sa. В. Swa. G T M Swagatam and we are not saying Swagatam M is half so there is a halat at the end that is why we can pronounce it as Swagatam M is pronounced half Swagatam Dansa is half V Akar. Dansa V Akar. Swa. Gata Mahalan. Swa Gatam. Palavina Sa. Sultan A. Bukha Gata. What is the meaning of Swagatam? Welcome. All right. Next word. Thank you. Should I remove this now? You have all noted it down? <coughs> Next word is uh, what did I say? Thank you. And the word is Dhanyavad. 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 How do we write it? First letter is Dh. Nya. Na half. Ya dhanya va the dhanyavad. Actually, now it's part of coming as a part of grammar, but we must start now. Uh, dhanyavad in singular will be dhanyavadaha. We'll say dhanyavadaha. Hindi form is Dhanyavad, Sanskrit form Dhanyavadaha. Spasiva pa Sanskrit is Dhanyavadaha, pa Hindi no pide Dhanyavad. Many examples you can see here. Today we have learned about Aha, that's also is there. Na, half is written without that line. So Dha, Nya, Va, Da, Aha. Dhanyavadaha. В этом слове, как вы видите, что есть полно без критикальной палки с буквой Е, есть А и есть Х. Is there anyone who is having problem in following me? Есть ли у кого-то проблем, вопросы? Everyone is able to understand and follow what I'm saying. Всем ли понятно, что я объясняю? Is it too difficult? No. Once you know the alphabet properly, everything falls very easily. That is why I'll repeat. Those who have not done the exercise homework, please do that. Because that will make you familiar with all the alphabets. 
из-за этого те, кто не сделали домашнее задание, пожалуйста, сделайте, и вы тогда поймете буквы и звуки. Окей. Okay. Now I'm giving you another useful word. Good morning. Теперь я вам тоже дам еще одну фразу. Доброе утро. Доброе утро. How do we say good morning in Sanskrit? Как мы будем говорить доброе утро в санскрите? The word is suprabhatam. Доброе утро по санскриту это suprabhatam. Now, let's see su. Su pra. I told you about the exception. So, this is pra. Bha. Akar. Prabha. Ta. Prabhatam. Теперь, как я вам объяснял, что с звуком У пойдет с Р, которые не подходят к правилам, те, что мы раньше учили. Б, А, Т и мягкое М. Су. Пра. Бха. Та. Ма. Су. Пра. Су. Пра. Бха. Там. Означает добрый вопрос. Suprabhatam. Can everyone speak? Suprabhatam. Dhanyavadaha. What is the meaning? Thank you. And what did we learn? Namaste. 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 Easy. And we also learned what? What? As long as you are repeating, I am fine. Whatever you are saying. <laughs> All right. Suprabhatam is good morning. Suprabhatam is good morning. Okay. How do you do? How are you? How do you do? In Sanskrit, we, just as you ask the question, Kushka, how do you do? In Sanskrit we say, Kushalam va. Kushalam va. Are you okay? Are you fine? Kushalam va. Kushalam va. Sanskrit is Nishayat Kaktila. Now let's, yeah. Now let's write, Ku. Sha, which is Talabya Sha. Kusha. L Kushalam is the first word and the next word is Va Kushalam Va How do you do? How are you? Kushalam Va Kushalam Va Okay, I am sure you are comfortable with normal alphabets by now and you also are aware as to how the consonants are added to vowels and the consonants are added to consonants. Теперь я уверен, что вы знаете все буквы и знаете, как добавлять звуки к буквам. Гласно за гласно. I am not giving you exact examples of Connecting two consonants in various forms. But I will encourage you to uh, do some homework and come up with certain with certain combination of consonants whose writing you find it difficult. And just as today, in the beginning of the class, 
we'll deal with the problems that you faced and then we'll go ahead with next things. И так как мы сегодня сначала, сначала разбирали вопросы, так же самое мы в следующем классе сначала будем разбирать вопросы, я вам буду их объяснять и будем дальше учить. Я еще вам даю три буквы в санскрите, которые мы еще не учили. These three letters are basically combination of two consonants but they have got special form эти буквы сделаны из двух разных других букв но пишутся по другому you remember 12 vowels and 5 times 5 group of consonants 25 and then 8 exceptions so 12 plus 8 becomes 20 plus 25 is 45 till now we have learned 45 consonants and vowels, right? There are three conjugated words which are combination of two consonants and which have separate form. That is why I am giving you these three. So then it will become 45 plus 3 48 alphabets. Alright. The first one of amongst them is called Ksha. And that is basically K plus plus Murdhanisha. It is K plus Murdhanisha. And K halats. K halat plus Murdhanisha becomes Ksha. And that is written. Look at this. Please look at the board. Look at the screen. Because this is a bit complicated and that is why I want all of you to pay attention. Yeah. Start from here. Start from here and make two loops. Then the lines are simple. Ksha. Okay. Now you come we come to your name. Xenia? Xenia. Ksenia. 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 You see there's a very minute difference between your name word Kse and Ksha. Because Ksha is Ka plus Murdhanya Sha, while your name is Ka plus Dantsa. So, if we have to write your name, we will, how do we write? Ksenia Ka Se Ni Ya Ksenia Ksenia if your name had Murdhanyasha, then you would have told your name as Kshenia. And Kshe, Ksha is a very important word in Sanskrit as well as in Hindi. Ksha means book of Hindi and Sanskrit. And we will come across, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you one word now, but I want you to pronounce the sound. Ksha. Ksha. And you see it is Ka plus Murdhanisha. The word which I had in mind, why I gave you this sound is Kshama. Slova, 
сказать с этим звуком, это кшама. So we write кшама, 